Uh, uh. Y'all see that? Charles trying to drown me. Charles trying to get me swim to. Trying to get me swim to the. Trying to get me swim to the third sandbar. Something that I wasn't expecting, that's for sure. Wasn't expecting that today. At all. Come on, tippy toes. Uh, it's a bit in front of us. You just gotta make it. Uh, uh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. When you have waves, it's easier. When you have waves, it's easier because then you could go jump in between the waves. <laughs> Maybe it's not here. Let's go back. I mean, waves are crashing. I don't know, bro. I can't. Okay, I can't touch anymore. I'm like shreddy water going backwards. Oh, that was fun. Let's do it again. They're so far out. There you go. That's something. Oh, look at the head shake. I see a shake. Yeah, I see a shake too. Big old hard head. <laughs> Hold it down like a hard head. Hard head or a little shark. I got my money in a hard head. And. Trout, bro. Woo, that's a nice trout. Man, that's a nice trout. Look at that trout. Oh, oh. Come on, buddy. There we go. That's a gooder. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. A nice big boy. Look at that. Nice thick one. He's thick. He is thick. Yeah, I see it. Ton of birds out ton of stuff going on we have bait bait in the water sun's not even up yet um i see some little bust ups right here in front of me i'm gonna cast right back where we are we're trying to make a way to these birds whenever you see birds diving you see birds working like that it is almost a feeding frenzy going on there is going to be a lot of fish activity there's gonna be a lot of bait there's gonna be a lot of fish oh there's another one that might be another one ah he's smaller I think it's undersized, it might be a hard head. It's kind of holding down a little bit, but that last one held down too. So, typically, oh, he came off right there. No idea what he was. He held down like the last one, so, but he felt smaller. We'll see if we throw it right back on. It might be a school right there, hopefully. So, after one pop of the court, it went straight down. So, you get lucky like that and uh, get real fishy. Dude, it is so fishy today. We got a storm offshore. Not too far off, so that's dropping the barometric pressure too. We have an incoming tide, and it turns around right, goes straight back out. Not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of slight tide today, and we got a lot of tide movement. So let's see if we can get this other, see if we can get another fish on right here. There it goes down again. There we go. Got him again. Might be on a little school for this. Like I said, this guy feels smaller too, so I don't kind of feel like the last one. And he's gonna be a hard head, kind of what we saw over there. So I do want to keep working our way down to all these dang birds. If I didn't catch a trout, we would already been over there. Get this guy off right here. Some just whacked it. Some just nailed it. Might be a, might be a little shark. See, see he's kind of feel, he feels like a trout, but I think it's a shark. Shark, trout. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah. Oh, nice. Goodness gracious. Come on, nah. Don't be splashing, bud. Too many little curious sharks in this water. I don't need my net. Yeah, he hammered it. He hammered it hard. I want him recording the bite. There we go. Uh, I don't know. I think you make it. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. It. It looks like a keeper. Yep. Yeah. Do, 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 baby shark do, 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 do. that's a newborn right there boy big mama around I ain't missing with big mama well it looks like we're going to try somewhere else you can see the cleaner water but it's just too far out um, it doesn't really it looks like it's getting a little bit closer but it's taking a long time to get here we do have a high tide at around 10 11 and then low tide kicks back in. It kind of seems like the last couple of times when we had the tide start going out low, the, the water kind of settled down and it got cleaner. So hopefully we're gonna try, go against the seawall. Hopefully we can see some green streaks and green patches. Um, it might end up heading all the way down to the east end. But you know what, this is fishing, you know, this kind of deals that you have to do a lot of times. You got plan A, you got to plan B, and then plan C. So right now we're gonna roll through and see what plan b might hold in store for us all right so we finally found some clean water if you can see out here you can see it's a little bit cleaner than what we have been seeing there's a guy over here that's hooked up right now uh so we're gonna give a shot we want to see what we can do so we can make it happen charles and myself we went all the way down the seawall to the east end and it got dirtier the further east we went so we came all that. I think we're we're past Jamaica Beach now. We're not quite to San Luis Pass, although we were heading that way. We're heading to Surfside area, Freeport, and see what's up. But yeah, we're gonna jump in the water here. Hopefully, hopefully, I got some shrimp still alive. Pretty hot. We'll see what's up. Dude, so much visibility. Look at this visibility. Freaking see my foot. Oh, look! I can see my foot all the way to the. Yep. Let's see my foot. Damn, we were at the wrong place. Just needed to keep going. Lady fish, you see some uh, disturbing chasing bait over here. It was just yeah. look like a lady fish. Yeah. Little guy, little guy. Too many sharks out here for you to be making that kind of ruckus, buddy. Yeah. So we do a lady fish when they're bleeding. You throw it at your friend. Let him bleed over there by him. And he ran right back to me. <laughs> He's really bad to me. Yeah, he's Ladyfish, I think. Lady? I think so. Like might might be a trout, huh? The way it popped up. Yeah, trout. trout. Little one. Uh. You're catching all the trout. I'll grab some bait. If it's big enough, I'll uh, I'll save it. And I'll give it to somebody on the shore. Uh. Really he close. He's Well, you got the trout, man. You're, you're trout master today. Trout master. Trout master today. Here, let me show them. Apparently, the trout want shrimp today, and the sharks want croaker. The sharks want anything. Sharks want anything. Sharks want fishermen. The only problem with with uh, the shrimp is you've probably gone through 200. Uh, 200 shrimp to your, your four corker. And, and all kinds of stuff just to get that. <laughs> Finally. All the scooting and going, we find, finally found something to pay off. Oh yeah. Yeah. Trout are here in the clean water. There he is. <laughs> something besides a shark. <laughs> oh, wow, look how big it is. Oh. <laughs> There they go. Whoop, there they go. There they go. Oh, that's a shark. That's a shark. Oh, 
Oh, yep, I think so. Looks like a shark to me. We'll there they are over there. Yeah. Look, see? This shark. Oh, no, I saw yellow. Did you see yellow? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. There they go. Yep, there they go. I mean, what hit me took off. Hardcore. It could have been an undersized one. Yellow, yeah, okay. Come on, Jackis. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. There it goes. Come on. Come on, go. There we go. Wow. Oh, a big lady fish. Uh, a lady oh, yeah. Uh huh. I saw it flash. It was skinny. That was a big lady fish. Woo! That was a big lady fish. Dang. I just saw a big flash and it kind of like from here to here, top to bottom. And uh and just peeled line straight out. I just assumed it was a ladyfish because that's what we've seen a lot of. We've seen a lot of ladyfish, not a lot of trout. So I don't think it was a uh I don't think it was a gator trout. It could have been, but um and typically when ladyfish hit, they take airborne to take off, so. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Another ladyfish, I think. Oh, that's a nice shark. Yeah. Shark. Damn it, I can't clean this dang lens. Nice little shark. Sorry about the lens, man. It's really tough out here trying to record and wait at the same time. I'll let him go. Well, that's going to do it today. You know, we came out. We hit several places uh, along the Galveston coast. You can see that the water ended up being very pretty. There's Dirty Bay Fishing, Charles Claiborne. You can check him out. I'm going to leave a link for him below if you are interested in a guide service, whether it's wade, kayak, or boat. You can check out Charles. Check out Dirty Bay Fishing as well. I'll leave both links below. And I'll leave links for like 90% of the stuff that I'm using and fishing with and hooks and corks and, and all that stuff below. But uh, you know, I had a really good time. Look how close that dolphin is. He's he's behind those people. Is he really? Yeah. He's in that first. Look, yeah, he's in that first gut. There's a dolphin that's between us and those people out yeah, there. Right there. There he is. Yep. Yep. 
There he goes. He just hit that. He hit yeah, that he hit two that. two foot shallow part and and traced across. That was funny. Sorry. Most of the time I see a squirrel, but it's not really a squirrel. That time I saw a dolphin. That was neat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but um, if you like this video, hit subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, hit like. If you like the channel, hit subscribe. And uh, if you like me, well, then come back for some more. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget, we do have a Patreon page. Uh, I'll post this fishing report tomorrow for Patreon. But by the time the viewers see it, unfortunately, it's probably be a week or maybe a handful of days after I fished out here. So if you want up-to-date fishing reports, kayak put-ins, behind-the-scenes footage, all that stuff, visit Patreon today and help further support the channel. But I do appreciate I do appreciate each and every one of you guys and girls. Thanks for coming back to Texas All Water Fishing and hopefully next time you catch me. Thanks. Thanks.